So I had learned about real estate and mortgages while I was on parole in Plainfield, New Jersey, or ISP, Intensive Provision Parole. I learned about mortgages, and I was like, what would happen if I applied all this swag, all this charisma, all these handsome looks? Yes. <laughs> what if I also applied that to a different hustle, to real estate full time? And so I challenged myself that day. I had two ounces of coke left, and I had some bundles and some bricks of dope. I gave my work away. I was like, yo, if I try that, all I need is one more flip. I tried that before. That one more flip didn't work. Either you get knocked or the game call you back in. I'm like, if I don't leave the game today, and God already showed me my future, when you can't even imagine a win for yourself. Now, when I was 17 in the game, I thought I was going to be the next Frank Lucas. I saw myself as a winning drug dealer. I saw myself as a kingpin. I saw myself as the man. But once I couldn't picture myself winning no more in the game, this shit got to go. I can't be hustling. I don't even believe in it no more. So I broke my trap phone, literally quit the game, gave my work away, and exited to real estate. Went broke for nine months trying to figure out all these new terminologies and how to dress better, speak better, and all these different things of transformation. Was about to go back to the game in the month that I was about to leave real estate and go back to the street. I literally was calling around like, yo, what prices right now? I closed four, I think I closed maybe seven deals and made 13000 Mortgage deals, real estate deals, and my real estate license. Next month, I made 30000 Four months later, I made 93000 Started in real estate in 2005 at 25 years old. By the time I was 28, I made my first million in real estate in real life. 